Get it hot in the Lambo. I could tell she a fan though. The way she throwing it back, make her throw a hand up like rolls on the wind. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, It's Whatever back here for episode two of a taste of once again a taste of welcome those who impact the world of music fashion and culture uh, to a platform that honors the creativity and highlights their voice our goal is clear illuminate the light shining within the guests and enter our space giving them a taste of their creative process once again i'm out here with my two wonderful co-hosts jasmine janine it's the kid phrase yep and our guest today is our boy joe cardigan yo you guys might know us with the song feels so good with trey g got over seven million streams on spotify Woo! So I, 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 ain't gonna lie, I just got hit a few months ago. I've been streaming all the time, so I've been bumping you up like crazy. He's yeah. at least a thousand. Uh, of those. He's at least a thousand of those streams. Six oh, weeks, well, a thousand yeah. in six weeks. Yo, I'm, I'm juicing you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pump you up. Pump you up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so happy to have you here, man. Oh, thank you for having me, guys. Yeah. yeah. So I want to kind of get some feedback. So, like, how did you kind of get started in the whole music game? Um. I, well, I've always, I've always uh, had an affinity for it since I was a kid, playing piano and stuff, off and on. But I, I really got into it. Um, it. You might be surprised, but my my original artist, who or the original artist who influenced me, was James Blunt. Ooh, really? I was not expecting that one. Yeah, his, his, his left field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, that Back to Bedlam album was. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, man. That whole album went hard. I started writing songs for that album. And so my first two songs, like I sounded just like James Bond. Right. So what was I'm it about? I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> like I swear. It, I is, it is a nice song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what was it about those two albums or his album? Or what was it about him specific that really resonated with? Man, that album was just like it, my favorite song was the song called "Goodbye, My Lover," and he wrote it for his wife because when he was writing it, they were in the middle of getting a divorce. But you said your first two projects had his whole vibe. How would you say you've evolved now? Well, how would you describe the sound today? <sighs> it, it went from James Blunt to sounding like uh, Queen, my favorite band of all time. I just saw Bohemian Rhapsody the other day. Yeah. Outstanding. I, you liked it? I liked it a lot. You didn't like it? It wasn't bad. It's nominated for Best Picture. That Yeah, honestly, I thought that was... Honestly, if A Star is Born doesn't win Best Picture... That's fair. Like that, yeah, that, that is Bradley like. Who Bradley Cooper can sing? Yo, or <laughs> Lady Gaga can act. He trained himself on the guitar yeah, too. Bro, that's crazy. Bro, Lady can act, bro. Yeah, Lady's good. Lady Gaga that girl's can act. a performer. Yeah. Yes. I like that you called it Lady too. Yeah. I saw her live for the first time. I like to call her Lady Gaga. I changed it up a little <laughs> right. bit. I saw her live for the first time last year and she blew my socks off for real. But, uh, but going back to um, how I evolved to the sound I have now, went from James Blunt to Queen, and then I just started to incorporate that em emotion and songwriting that I learned from James Blunt. I started to incorporate the, that, that, that melodic aggression that Freddie Mercury would get in the yeah. Queen songs. And then I started to uh, men mesh that all together with uh, the top 40 pop song structure. Mm -hmm. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge chorus in terms of like emotion like what is behind there are you like are a lot of your songs about like experiences or not not necessarily there there's some songs that are about experiences uh but most of the songs i write are just they're like they're like stories like how stephen king or mark twain would make up a story you know yeah. an author makes up a story a good novel so that's that i would just make up stories like that you know i i now, are these made-up stories, or are some of these ins inspired by real life events? Some of them are inspired. Yeah, like I was saying, some of them are inspired. Most, but most of the songs are very much, um, you know, just like love songs, because like that's what I enjoy, you know, writing about love songs. So, Love it. so interesting. Uh, you know, the influences you said uh, were very interesting for me because when I hear your music, and I've known you for a little bit now, I get that very much that that Michael Jackson vibe because you hit those high notes and and <laughs> that <laughs> weekend vibe. A little bit and then you got that bruno mars style about you when you're on stage so are any of those are your influences at all or am i just way off there uh t yeah two of them there's i have three major influences freddie mercury is one uh man that's hard to say i'd say freddie and michael are tied okay. freddie and michael uh, it's interesting you say that 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 michael jackson tone michael a lot of people don't realize he got a lot of his the way he sings from uh freddie Michael loved Freddie, like he, he loved Freddie Mercury and he got a lot of his style from Freddie Mercury too. 
the uh, the royal looking jackets that he would wear, yeah. or the gloves. You know, yeah. I mean? Freddie started doing all that first. And Michael was at every show when they would come to California. He was at every show, and they even were supposed to uh, put out a couple of songs together, just like singles. And Freddie was supposed to be on on uh, Michael Jackson's, uh, I believe it was Bad, that Mick Jagger was on a song, but Michael went with Mick Jagger instead of Freddie. And there's tape of that on YouTube too. Just type in Freddie Mercury, Michael Jackson. But yeah, that's uh, Freddie Freddie Mercury, uh, Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, top three. My opinion today's game, Bruno Mars, pff, dude. There's there's Bruno's doing it. There's no there's no competition, man. His, so, his his live performances and everything. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, nah, I was gonna say crazy enough. Uh, rest in peace, Michael. Um, uh, yeah. If you had to choose between making a collaboration with Michael or Bruno. Okay. Or Freddie. Or Freddie. <coughs> Who would you choose? And why? God. Can I walk out of this interview right now? <laughs> That's it. I'm out. I'm out. Gosh. Five, four, three, Top two. of mind. First thing. Michael. Can... There you go. Yeah. Cool. My, Michael's the king, bro. Michael is the king of pop. Feel So Good was, um, or, or came into, into being. Um, that song is heavily influenced by Michael Jackson. Heavily influenced by Michael Jackson. I hear that in that song. Yeah. It's a... Uh, a lot there was two songs that inspired that song one was michael jackson's the way you make me feel mm. and like you think you I, you hear it in the verse that like he's got like that you know that like that attitude and like hey pretty baby with the high heels on, Go on and i wanted like <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> the you know and so i really wanted like a like something like to groove to like that i wanted a groove like that and so i had this bass line like this boom 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 and i'm like damn that sounds dope and i'm like man i was like is that could that be a bass line or a guitar riff i'm like maybe it could be both so we've been talking about a lot about lyrics um and we have a section called name that lyric so i'm going to call out three lyrics to you and we're going to put you to the test and see if uh you can call out what song it is okay the first one is you ain't like the others making me feel love Oh, it feels so good. Okay. You knew that right away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm headed that way, and I think I'm yeah, skating. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, Joe knows his lyrics. <laughs> yeah. All right. Give me so, something so, so, so let's <laughs> let's talk a little bit about about like what the what these lyrics mean. So you, in in feel so good, you talk about you ain't like the others making me feel love. What do you mean? Well, that that whole song is just about like unbridled passion, and it's like it's about a guy who just sees this this girl and is like man like i like i gotta have that mm. you know what i mean and so um when the making me feel love excuse me making me feel love you're not like the others it's like she's completely different than any other girl that this guy in the song has ever seen or that i've ever seen you know mm -hmm. so that she's like man you're making me feel love she ain't like the others mm -hmm. you know? that's what that's what i meant by that yeah yeah, you're right. But I'm headed that way, and I think I'm speeding. I'm headed that way, and I think I'm speeding. Uh, pumping my brakes, trying to break this feeling. Um, that song is about. That's actually one of the songs that is inspired by somebody. That that is a you know a real life inspiration. Um, it, there was this uh, there was this girl that I met that was just you know inc most incredible person I've ever met. And I had just uh, divorced my wife. We were together for seven years. We were together since high school, so seven years. And after that divorce, it, it was a it was an ugly divorce. And when it was all said and done, I was like, man, I've had enough of love. Right. Like yeah. I am straight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've been in a relationship for seven years. I gave you know. Unfortunately, sometimes you give your all to somebody, and there's you know not much given back so you feel drained mm -hmm. and you just feel like it was all for nothing to a certain extent right but uh that's that lyric means I, i'm 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 headed that way and i think i'm speeding because i i didn't want to be in love I, you know i had enough so obviously you kind of talked about how like that woman that kind of inspired you obviously you kind of stylish guy as well like who are some of like your fashion inspirations obviously i would say trinidad james because you know you all go everything oh uh, yeah <laughs> go all in my watch <laughs> show the boy yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna try yeah. it's also I'm, I'm getting a miami feel too yeah like, you mean, like miami we don't have oh, really? trees in chicago yeah. that's true um what was the question i'm so sorry so who's some of your fashion inspirations kind of like 
Or what would you describe your style? How would you describe your style? <sighs> how would I describe my style? Like Evan is hipster chic. Yeah, I'm hipster chic. Oh, that's how you describe your style? Yeah. <laughs> I like that, hipster chic. Yeah. Um, man, I'm super fly. <laughs> okay. That counts. That also counts. Very balanced. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm super fly. The lady love me, love me. See, there you go. That's why they all fuck me. Yeah. Oh, Remix coming. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> Bruno. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I really love Miguel's style. Okay. Um, I, I really like Miguel's style. Uh, Miguel, I really like French Montana style. And Bruno, of course, man. Yeah, Bruno. Bruno's a man, bro. Yeah. yeah, I've seen you got, you know, when you do your shows, you got the, the hype man behind you, you got your jumpsuits. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely borrowed that from him and, and James Brown would do that. Bruno and James Brown both, do, or James did that and, and Bruno does it now, where all the guys are dressed up in a certain way. They're all matching. Uniform. To a certain extent. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of uniforms, one of the things we like to do on the show, we have a segment called Feeling This Fit. So essentially what I do, I kind of scroll through your IG, scroll through your social media. We creeped you a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Super creepy, bro. Yeah. Like sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> yeah, basically Creep. what we do, kind of pecked out two photos for me to kind of really get out. I feel like, what was you feeling when you put this fit out? Oh, okay. Right? So not, it's not really to be able to really shade you, but you know, kind of just asking like, what was kind of really going through your mind here at the time? So we got a couple for you. So we're going to hit you with the first one. So kind of like, what was you thinking when you had this joint? Right here, oh, man. So I, was like, I, must, I think I just saw Amigos video or something. <laughs> I was like, bro, I was like, man, I got to go to the club tonight. I, saw the, I don't know what it was. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I really, those glasses really are inspired by Amigos, though. Okay. Right, I was like, right, damn, right. them, them in the, in the, Cartier uh, mm. in the Spanish rapper Bad Bunny, they'd be wearing those, like, those, those circular Elton John like sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of like jazz. Jazz got the little swag. Going I, I, on I had I like to get it. saucy. I mean, yeah. 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 I like it. Yeah. I like it. She drip. When Joe's on the show, you got to clean up a little bit. Yeah. 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 I think we're going to name this the drip couch. Yeah. This is the drip couch right here. That's all I have. Yeah. Don't, don't mind the drip. That's yeah, all like, I have. Don't mind it. It's like going to also kind of with your glasses. We got you right here. But but I wanted to kind of pull up. You kind of remind me of this old school rock photo, though, where you had the chain <laughs> with the match sweater. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, maybe I definitely probably was uh, uh, yeah. channeling that dude, man. The rock was dope, man. Yeah. The rock, rock was, still man, is that, dope. That, that picture is still drips, bro. Yeah. That album yeah. still drips. Yeah. That's real funny. But yeah, they got the Versace shades on. Woof. Yeah. Joe, Joe, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I know there's kind of one couple more things in the fashion to like, what's with the last, like, what's the cardigan kind of come in? Is that like style inspired or where'd that come from? In high school, I wore nothing but cardigans. Oh, gotcha. You in, high you. in high school, I like, I dressed like a Jonas Brother, bro. Like, I had Converse on, skinny jeans, a tie, um, a cardigan, and I even had a pinky ring back then, too. I had this like small J pinky <laughs> ring, I had no more. And um, so I was just like, and I was the only dude that dressed like that in high school. So I was just basically like, Stunting on my entire school. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So no, how that cardigan uh, uh, name happened was I wore nothing but cardigans in high school, and one of my friends one day he was a grade above me. He he just he just said it to me one day. I was coming up to the locker. I was like, "What's up, Jose?" And he was like, "Oh, snaps! Look who it is, Joe Cardigan." <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. Light bulb. That's, Light bulb. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And it's stuck. Have you like pulled out a cardigan like on in one of your most recent performances lately? I was gonna say I've never seen you actually yeah. wear a cardigan. I, 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 cardigan now. I, I know everybody everybody says that. Bro, where's your cardigan? Where's your cardigan? Where's your cardigan? I gotta I gotta design one or something, man. Yeah. Because I don't want it to be like no preppy cardigan. I don't want it to look smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cardigan. It's gotta be custom cardigan. That looks slick, yeah. Have you seen that you've done that look where people wear a cardigan like in the summer but no shirt underneath? Like, like that's just they look. They do like some chino. I do. I, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Harder than no shirt on me. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't like, know if I could rock that look. <laughs> it look. You gotta see it. It looks cool. It really ain't that bad. Like it sounds. It looks better than how it actually. Sounds. Like I would wear. Like, it doesn't sound great. Like I would, I would wear like a light cardigan that color of your sweater. Yeah. With some like light wash jeans that are like cut to look like they're ribs. Right, right, right. And right. have some like slick shoes like them. Right, right, appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. I mean like you man, you know what I'm saying? When you on the show, we got We all trying to uh, be like Joe <laughs> Cardigan. Yeah, so American. one thing we kind of also like to do is like closing this out here, like have a little fun, right? So we can do some rapid fire questions. So we're going to hit you real quick. Okay. Right? So the first one we're going to hit you with is Gucci or Louie? Gucci. All right. MJ or Prince? Kind of answered that earlier. MJ. All right. TLC or Destiny's Child? That's a show. All right, waffles or pancakes? Waffles. PBJ or grilled cheese? Grilled cheese. 
Uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. I got one last one. Charizard or Blastoise? <laughs> Charizard. All day. Respect. <laughs> I think this goes without saying, but silver or gold? Gold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, Jazz? Yeah. All the drip. What you mean, girl? And one last thing we want to touch base on is if you want to leave our viewers or your fans with a taste of Joe Cardigan, you know, what do you want to leave them with? The one last thing you want everybody to know about you that they should take with you. I think, I think the most valuable thing in life, whether you're a musician, any type of creative, any type of human being, whatever you do, greatest thing in life, and, and what I want all my fans and my music to, to do is uh, just have fun and, and love yourself. Because um, you'll, you'll never be truly happy unless you, you love and like yourself. And, and I think that's the most important thing to have, uh, is, is that confidence in yourself loving who you are because that's the type of that, that's the type of, uh, of audience I, I want to listen to my music or I want my music to to, to, to I want to be at a show and perform songs that's going to entertain you you know make you feel good about yourself make you feel good have fun memory with uh, excuse me have fun memories with your friends you know get drunk dance at the shows like that's that that's what I want to leave you guys with so what's next for Joe Cardigan artist collectives Instagram growth program has done wonders for me, not only in gaining a bigger audience on social media, but just the opportunities and doors that have been opened through that. There was somebody on somebody's team, this A&R consultant for Capital, somebody on her team heard my music through the growth program. She reached out to me. I signed a six month agreement. So she's my, my, basically my talent agent now. So we're in the process of booking shows in the Midwest. Uh, on the East Coast and the West Coast within the next six months. And uh, uh, also an another opportunity that was given to me uh, was uh, Motown Records reached out to me. Um, there was a uh, artist liaison that followed me on Instagram. They're actually putting together a compilation album of undiscovered artists covering old Motown tracks. And uh, I'm gonna be covering um, uh, my, uh, Dan excuse me, Jackson 5 a track called Dancing Machine and uh, uh, Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell. Ooh. Amazing. Yeah, man. So that, and that's set to release in the next few months, so I'm excited about that. Shout out to Rockwell. That's my favorite, that's my favorite Halloween song. <laughs> somebody's <laughs> Watching Me. Yeah, yeah. Always be And on, on that back. same note, too, I can also vouch for the Artist Collect program. It has helped me also in my career and has done wonders for me. So shout out to Artist Collect for sure. Artist Collect, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so another great show. Joe, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Woo! This has been thank a you. taste of Joe Cardigan. We appreciate you guys for tuning in, and uh, we hope you will join us next time. I'm the Kid Phrase. I'm Jazz and Janine. We'll see you guys then. One shot, two shot, three shot, that spot got me singing crescendo. Up all night, I'm hard to find. Getting lost in that body, getting lost, getting lost in that body.